finding a way to play as close to 48 minutes as possible is, is, is good for us. It's not always going to go perfect, but we were able to weather the storm and, and kind of separate uh, there in the third and obviously in the fourth. And Will was really big for you guys while Brad was out. This guy who's done so much for you in Denver. Yeah. He kind of seemed like he was like the playoff run. What did happen to him in a second unit kind of get you guys? It gives us a lot of comfort. I mean, yeah, you never want to be without Brad, you know, for, for a long stretch, but he's a guy that we can play for. And he can create his own offense. Uh, you know, he's pretty good in the open floor, playing pick and roll. So there's a comfort level of having another facilitator, playmaker, ball handler on the floor. Uh, who can create offense. And it does take some pressure off of Brad and, of course, gives us a little uh, parity, let's say. Uh, not yet. <laughs> what aspects of your defense did you like most tonight? Uh, I thought we were cleaner with our coverage. Um, and then more so second half than first. There were a lot of game plan errors that I thought allowed Detroit to hang around. We, we were up, and, you know, that, that game could have gone 20, and they cut it back to 10. It was just the, having the discipline to stay the course, make sure we're communicating at a high rate, like all in sync and locked in. Uh, it's going to happen, but, you know, just try to minimize those stretches as best we can. And pain points for you today, what did you like about how you were able to score inside? Well, we knew going in, they, they struggled a bit regarding the pace. You know, they're bottom third in the league. Been a strength of ours thus far. I think we're top seven or eight right now. So, getting into the paint, obviously finishing at a high rate, uh, and we know what that generates for us: free throws, open threes, uh, and it puts a lot of pressure on uh, on the defense. So, anytime we can get downhill, it's been good for us. Did you have to sell well on is it like a coming off the bench? Or I know we did it in Denver, Michael. But you have to start it out. Yeah, I, you know, I don't know if I had to sell him on it. Uh, we talked about it. But and I think his mindset, he's been on, you know, part of winning, winning culture, on a winning team. Um, and, and he's mature enough at this point to, to understand the role. And he knows, you know, in that second unit also gives him an opportunity to shine. Uh, and I tried to explain to him, Monte, you know, all of our guys have a veteran feel that it's not who starts and who, who is. And the, the flow of the game will determine that. A lot of nights that will be Will, you know, Monte, Galan. Um, we have the flexibility to kind of pick and choose, you know, in that moment as far as what we need. And for Will, how important is it to have Monty here with them? If they know how to play each other and like during that stretch of that graph, they yeah. kind of connect with each other. Well, they've been, they've been through it. <laughs> so having that synergy and kind of a feel uh, for each other, uh, I think I'm sure it's natural. And those those guys, you know, played several years together at high level. So I'm not surprised at all that you know, they like the same. With uh, how contagious are deflections? Um, I'm hoping they can prove that they just see them. Um, and the, the best part about it is we're creating those, uh, generating turnovers, getting deflections, um, that, for the most part being solid. You know, we're not up the line, we're not gambling. Uh, a lot of that I have to give credit to the lot. Mm -hmm. And, you know, he kind of sets the tone, uh, and speeds guys up, which makes those plays that other guys are making behind them even easier. Uh, so it's it, it is uh, one of his strengths, but by, there's no doubt that uh, it, it is contagious, and I think it just gives us life and energy, creates easy offense. Uh, anytime we can get the uh, deflection to turn teams over, now we're we're running, mm -hmm. and we're pretty good once we get out and run. And how important is it to get those without stretching your defense, without gambling too yeah. much? Well, well, I mean, we've seen it. Um, full transparency, we've struggled one on one as far as guarding the ball. So we don't want to be hugged up. We don't want to be um, overly aggressive where we're um, spread out to the point. And now teams are just driving gaps, and living in our paint, and living downhill. So, you know, the mindset is, you know, sure, hand activity, multiple effort, um, being a step ahead of the play, being in our spots early, usually lends to those questions. Um, but we don't want to get up the line and, you know, try to take uh, teams out of their offense per se because I think that does stretch a little thin. What what does it mean for a team when Bradley Beal takes the start? No, it's huge. I mean, it's you know, it's just another uh, you know, point of emphasis that we can point to is you know, if he can do it, anyone can do it. We're asking a lot of him. Uh, he's bought into the defensive side. I think he's been unbelievable. Uh, good on the defensive side. Uh, 
for these energies, attention to detail. And they're asking that, you know, do it on both ends of the floor as far as he's he done it. Given that that was how he injured his wrist last year, do you, is there a small part of you that cringes when you're doing it? I mean, you can't time? worry about it. I mean, knock on wood, and you, you can get hurt a lot of ways anytime you step on the floor. So um, I don't think if you're concerned about it or if you're overthinking it, that's probably when it happens. I think you just, you know, it's a natural reaction. You take the charge. And, uh, you just hope, you know, hope for the best. I don't think you have to overthink. He's, he's been through it. He's been through other injuries. So uh, he's smart enough. He knows his body well. Hey, coach. Just want to know who got the defensive belt tonight. Uh, tonight was Dennis. Okay. And uh, that's a small sample size, but you're starting off three and one. What's been the one constant so far in these uh, three wins? Well, defensively, we've been solid. Um, you know, I think there's a lot to clean up. You know, one night it was the free throws. Um, the one trend, of course, that's concerning is the offensive rebounding. Did a better job tonight with our with our turnovers. I mean, um, you know, 12 for 12 is, is manageable. So just cleaning up the glass, and I think um, in general, I would say you know, the defense has been relatively solid through this you know, young, young season. Wes, uh, depth behind Brad hasn't always been a strength uh, during his tenure here. Can you, can you speak to the options that you do have? And yeah. Even with Kispert out. Well, yeah, that's to your point. I mean, it's you know, Corey hasn't yet seen the, the floor with us, um, you know, during the regular season. But um, I think that just mi mixing and matching, you know, being able to play DeLon and Monte together. They haven't done it yet. They haven't had to do it. Um, obviously, had Brad and Will. And downsizing, you know, the, and Denny at the two a little bit. So it gives us the flexibility to have multiple ball handles on the floor, shot creation. Um, and, and there's not a ton of drop off in that first to second unit. You know, finding that mix and blend, I think, is the biggest challenge. And what do you hope Johnny takes from this experience? Well, I think, you know, it, it's tough. You know, into the game, you've been sitting for 46, 47 minutes. Um, but take advantage of those minutes. And I, I think he's going to – I think he's going to be really good. You know, he has the opportunity to get out there. And um, hopefully, as he kind of works his way through this, you know, we stay healthy. But there will be opportunities for him to, uh, to get minutes. Coach, uh, going back to uh, when you're talking about going downhill, getting in the paint, um, I want to ask about Kyle Kuzma specifically. Um, all nine of his makes tonight came in the paint, mm -hmm. um, got to the line eight times as well. Is that something that you and him have had conversations about? Is that a concerted strategy is getting him downhill and at the rim specifically? Well, I mean, it, it is, but it's also, I think, uh, something that we, we established last season is when you rebound and we push and you can attack in the open floor, that's the easiest opportunity. Um, but, you know, you see Ruby, Ruby's trying to do it more. Um, Kyle had a, he, he's been doing it. He did it last year at a high rate, and it was good for us. So that, that whole concept of defend at a high level, rebound, get out and run, I think it's um, it allows for easy opportunities. Um, Coach, you guys had five players in double figures tonight. That's been a theme so far. Um, what does that do for the offense when so many guys can contribute, and how is that going to help Brad long term, having, having to score less, having to take on less of that offensive burden? Oh, I think it's huge. Um, and it's not just the guy scoring. Um, if you look at the overall assist percentage, I think that's another night, 26 uh, assists. That's huge. 26, uh, 44 field goals. So it, it's a solid balance where you know, the ball's moving. It means that, you know, the moving body is moving the ball. Everybody's involved. So I think that helps also on the defensive, you know, overall offensive efficiency, but also guys feel like they're part of it. They're more invested in, uh, you know, trying to defend at a high level. So I think it works in concert. And I do agree that that does take pressure off Brad. Mm -hmm. We're asking him to do a lot, make plays, score for us. Um, but when he has the confidence to make those right plays at the right time and guys step up and make shots, um, I think that, you know, just reinforces his level of confidence in his teammates. And how does the versatility uh, play into that? Because like you said, like when Brad was out, you could run it through Will, you could run it through Cruz. Um, sometimes he would post reports on this. What does that, how does that help you having all these different guys that can create offense for you? Well, it gives you a level of comfort, for sure, that um, you know, there's not a ton of drop off. You know, like I said, you never want to be without Brad for, for too long, but we're, we're able to weather that storm, uh, which, is, which is a good sign, and not only for this group, but it just shows that it speaks to the depth and, and versatility that we have. Coach, can you just elaborate on what you saw from Danny tonight and what you like from him to take from him? All his physicality, um, his size, his length. Uh, he's a physical defender. Um, I think, you know, once again, he's still working back into the fold. Um, so he doesn't have his legs on him. He still has to get his, his conditioning up. 
you know, to play a full NBA game. But I like where he is. He's trending in the right direction. Um, I think he's doing a better job of you know, kind of letting the game come to him. You know, it's tougher now as a starter. We're in, you know, last season as a second second unit guy, we kind of played through him a little bit more. So I think he's just trying to feel out the offense. But, you know, he's, he's hung his hat on the defensive end. He's done a pretty good job. Hey, what, do you know if on the charge of when Brad charged himself with the back or was it? No, it was, it was before. And so Kuz, he said on post game show that he quote unquote called himself a win from how he played last game. I guess was that a point of emphasis for you guys to say that? Hey, no, I, I don't think so. I mean, it's it's good to be self reflective, and that that's how it felt. But um, you know, across the board, we, we all could have been better. Uh, certainly winnable. You know, the fact that you're down seven and only 50 seconds left, you find a way to battle back. That that, that speaks for itself. But you know, we left some points on the board. You know, early in the overtime, it probably would have given us a little separation, but it's a learning opportunity. That, you know, when you have a team on the ropes, you got to put them away. And for getting on the block on Cade, you got them up afterwards. I guess, how much do you just even want your players to feed off of your energy at times? Well, I mean, I've been known to get really excited out there. So, <laughs> I mean, yeah, you, you, you want your guys to, to know that you appreciate the effort. You know, it's, uh, it's one thing to, the whole guys to a certain standard, but you also have to celebrate. He's an example for everybody. You know, it has to trickle down. If he does that, then anybody else has to be able to do it. And, um, and yeah, I'm glad he, he came back in the game healthy and, and, and got a few buckets and, and bounced. <laughs> hey, KP, Axe coach, what was one of the positives to the 3-1 start? He said defense. Just wanted to get your thoughts on that as well. Yeah. Oh, I think it was, uh, I think it was decent. Uh, I think, yeah, we, we had our, like, mental lapses in Cleveland. I think we still did have a few of those tonight. Uh, but but I think overall we're, we're, we're more locked in. Um, and we did a better job. And if we want to be a winning team, we have to we have to stay locked in for 48 minutes. You know, this this we have to get this team out earlier. As I say, we got to we got to build up that lead and, and not let him hang around 10, 12, 13 points where the game is kind of still Build that lead up to 20 and, and let the young guys play. And then with keeping with the defense, how much of that championship belt kind of helped the intensity of your defense? Yeah, no, it's I think it's good. Just like a for like a competitive spirit inside the team. I think it's good. Um, yeah, uh, and kind of brings you know, defense is not fun. Nobody likes to like you know sit down and like burn your legs out on defense. But this kind of gives a little extra fun to it. You know that that. Um, yeah, that, that you want to go for the belt and at the same time, you know, help the team win. Um, you guys have been very unselfish on offense so far. How does that help create consistency longer term, especially like, especially for team chemistry, knowing that when you give up the ball, you're going to, like, it's going to come back to you. How does that help with creating consistency? Yeah. Um, that's, I mean, again, I think it starts with Brad. Brad's just been making plays for everybody, sharing the ball. Even though you know he's the most talented guy, the most the best scorer we have on the team, um, and if he does that, then the next guy has to make the the next play, that the right play, you know. And as I said again, it kind of trickles down from him, starts from him. He's setting that example for everybody else, and and um, and yeah, we have to play that way to to to, to be a you know a team that that plays the right way and makes the right pass. Hey, Keith, can you talk a bit about Will Barton's contribution tonight, especially with Brad out there for a bit with the back? Yeah, oh, Will was great. Will is, uh, Will, yeah, Will is, uh, he's a bucket. He just, that's what he does. He scores the ball, always aggressive. I heard him, uh, he got uh, like two, three uh, buckets in a row, and we were coming in transition. He's like, damn, I'm hot, damn, I'm hot, yelling at him. That kind of made me laugh. He just wanted the ball so bad, and he got he got the ball. They threw it to him. He hit another three. So I'm like, yeah, these guys. You could tell that's like um, that's a a great like a like a high level guy's confidence. You know, when he's like that, then you know he's been in the league for a long time and he's a scorer and you know and that's what he does. So I'm glad we have on our have him on our team. Chris Steps, uh in the first quarter we saw um, an action where Brad comes off of a screen from you, gets the pass. You roll and you really get an alley pass. We've yeah. seen that action a few times now. Yeah. Um, how are you feeling about your chemistry on the court with Brad? Yeah, so, no, it's so great. Fun. I love playing with him. He takes so much attention away from me. He, on those curls, they, the big has to help. Otherwise, he has a layup. And he had a few of those in, in Cleveland. And tonight, uh, 
pigs. You know, I wish we would have got more time to play together tonight, but but the the few the the minutes that we got together, you know, he's yeah, he's giving the ball wherever it was. You know, he had to go, and that one through the lob. Brad's great. I love playing with him. What do you think are some of the things that you can clean up to maybe not get in that situation? Yeah, 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 yeah. I know it's – why am I hacking so much? I don't know. Um, yeah, but, like, the third foul, I look back at it. I don't know if you guys seen it. I was I, – I was – I thought they called it on – I don't know, Kuz grabbed him or something. I had no idea that it was on me, you know. So, a few of those calls were a little funny to me. But, uh, but yeah, we, we keep playing. And, and uh, but, yeah, definitely there's, you know, two or three that I have to avoid, you know, that, that – I just take myself out of the game, you know, and I did that tonight. And I don't want to do that going forward. So stay aggressive, stay stay playing hard defense, but be smart and, 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 and you know, not use them when I don't need to use them. You get to check, I guess, Yang's goal is completely 100% fine. Yeah. Yeah, 90, 95%. It's getting close to being back to normal, you know. Uh, but, yeah, that first game, that, that – but, yeah, it's getting better. Yeah. If you could elaborate on what you already told Megan about just wanting to come in and be aggressive tonight. Yeah, I just wanted to come in and be really, really aggressive. You know, I, I thought that um, in Cleveland I was I was playing real soft. Uh, you know, I kind of let them, um, you know, take me out the game. You know, and if you look at that game, they really didn't give me looks, um, you know, chances, opportunities to score. Um, and I kind of just like stood there and took it. So, uh, you know, my focus tonight was just to come in and, and just be ultra aggressive and um, just be who I am. Benny obviously had the time with Cunningham tonight. What did you think about his ability to limit him? Uh, I thought I thought he did a solid job. Um, you know, I think for Denny, um, you know, he's a talented player, but for him, it's all about his mental. You know, he he's he's very very good when he's on. And, um, you know, it's all, all, all about consistency. And, um, you know, if he can continue to, you know, do what he does defensively and add something offensively, it's just only going to make us better as a team and a unit. Hey, cool. Uh, it's a small sample size, four games. But what's been the one positive for you so far in these three wins? Um, That we got wins. I think that's just the biggest thing. It's, it's so early, man. It's only four games. You know, I'm not really into, you know, who Ryan are right now. You know, because last year we started 10-3 and, and then went to shit. So, um, you know, it's all about every every game, every every day. We have to build good habits. We have to come in and, and, and work. You know, I thought tonight, yeah, we won by 20. But, you know, it was a little ugly 20. You know, if you look at that first half and, you know, a little bit of – not really the second, really the first half, really played to that team's level. And that's that's no disrespect, but you know we we got to be better. Um, all of us, everybody on the bench, and um, you know guys that are playing, we ha you have to be better. But um, you know three and one is it three and one? Yeah. Three and one, you know you'll take it for sure. And lastly, how has that championship belt kind of brought a new found respect to defense on this team as well? Um, you know it's fun. It's great. You know I think um, you know you know we're just trying to continue to establish a culture here and that's just something new that we put into it um you know Delon's won it ag's won it denny's won it so uh you know i think it's good i think it's it, it's i don't think guys are coming in the locker room saying can't wait to win the belt but um that just shows you where our, our mindset is as a, as a collective unit and and uh, a team you know it's on the defensive end um, you guys have played really, uh, you guys played really unselfishly on offense this year. How do you maintain that? And like, what are the benefits of continuing to play that style of basketball you guys have been playing so far? I, I just think that we have a, a team that knows how to play basketball. Um, you know, uh, Brad's a great decision maker. Uh, you know, always trying to make the right play. I'm trying to make the right play. KP as well. Uh, Monte's an excellent passer. Bar barely turns the ball over. Uh, Delon just. Just knows how to play basketball. Same with Thrill. So, um, going down the line, you know, it just makes it a little bit easier and simple. So, um, you know, it, it's really fun. Kuz, all nine of your makes tonight came in the paint. Um, 
nine of 11 in the paint. And Wes was talking about um, how important it is for the whole team to get downhill and get to the rim. How much of a concerted effort are you putting into getting to the rim? I mean, that's my game. So um, I'm always trying to get to the rim. And I, I know that if I can get my two feet in the paint and I can get to my floater or I can get to a layup from 6'10". So, um, you know, I just try to always try to play to my size. Uh, I'm really mad I missed five threes tonight. A couple of them felt good. But I think, uh, you know, that's why I'm I just at my best is trying to get downhill, playing in the paint. And then also, you know, making good decisions, you know, I'm in the paint and I, I can't shoot the ball. But I'm, I'm going to try to find an open guy. And, you know, the biggest thing we want to do in, in basketball is generate paint to great threes. And um, that's just how I try to play the game of basketball.